Hey, you guys. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into Carol's Daily Sauce. I'm coming on here just to say happy Sunday. Everybody, happy Sunday. Um, just um, trying to connect. Hey, Miss T. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm I was I'm listening to my mother-in-law. I do apologize, but um, welcome, 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 y'all, into uh, the live. As I always do, you guys. I usually come on here on Sundays and just tell you guys, you know, what I wore. Well, you know what? Today I wore some pants because guess what, y'all? Hey, Don. Hello, Sheila. I actually um, went to church today, but. Y'all ain't gonna believe this one. Why is my throat sore again? My throat is sore again. So I'm thinking that um, it may be because hubby sleeps with the um, fan on. And when I went to bed last night, I only had this really thin comforter. And what happens, come in. Uh, I heard you. I heard you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. Yeah. I'm going to get okay. I'll get it for you, honey. Don't worry. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so uh, I think I might have to go because I hear the dogs. Y'all going with me. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, I hear the dogs barking. Anyway, y'all, um, throat getting sore again. So I, I bought me some cough drops. I went and had my fa, because you guys, you know what? You know how some people think, you know what? I'm going to go walk. We're going to go for a walk, y'all, through the house. Uh-oh, dropping my glasses. You know how sometimes we have a tendency to think that um, certain things work for us? Like, you know, certain things like soups. Like back in the day, it used to be um, chicken noodle soup or something. I think the vid... Menees is or or is it Nemes? Oh, they ain't here yet. I'm gonna sit in here. I tend to think that um look at my son's stuff. Tend to think that that soup makes everything better. Really, for real. That soup make every makes everything better. So ooh, I look dark. All right, y'all. I'm gonna sit right here until the door, until they um knock on the door. But um just wanted to touch bases with y'all. Anyway, I got on a pantsuit. It's a leopard pantsuit with a little thingy here. I ain't gonna go down too low because it's big. Um, I kind of bought it big, but I guess when I was sick, yay, I dropped some pounds. And then I got this little lazy ponytail that's kind of heavy. It's Look at this, y'all. It's really heavy. And I know a lot of people who've seen my a little makeup, quick makeup do video I did. Um, was saying, oh, I like your hair long. You guys know what? My entire life as a young girl, my hair was longer. I had the long ponytails. But as I got older, I started wearing like the little holly berries and I'm just not used to a lot of hair. Oh my goodness, Kirby, I didn't know you was down there. No wonder you fussing. What's the matter? Mama put you in there. I can't get you out. Sorry. That's that's a little shit shoot, y'all. And he is not having it. He is hot as fire. But I think mom probably put him in there because somebody is supposed to be coming to the door. But um, how y'all doing today? How's everybody doing? Is everybody well? Is everybody well as far as their health? Are they well mentally? Is there something that I could say to you to make you feel better? What y'all doing? Tell me. Go in here. Let me know what y'all doing. Because I ain't doing nothing. I have my soup. I went to church. I have my soup. And I got a scratchy throat. That's only that's that's all I'm dealing with right now. But I tell you one thing I can say. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I got all my brains hanging out. Y'all, one thing I've always talked about, and if you know me, you've heard it. I um just relax and I know that's right. Oh, and you know what? Sheila said she's relaxing. Shanique said she's relaxing. Darlene said a blessed Sunday. Yes, ma'am. Even though this throat is scratchy, definitely it is a blessed Sunday because you know what? 
the reality is somebody didn't make it. Somebody did not make it to see this Sunday. So I'm so thankful. And I, when we went to the church, um, I, oh, stop. She says she counting down the hours until the school opened. <laughs> That's why, right, because the baby's been out a while, huh? They've been out, what, over a week? Okay, y'all, I'm trying to get this recipe. Bragg's vinegar, cayenne pepper, honey, and a hot cup of water. I think that may have been you to say that the last time, Ms. T. And I, the only thing I don't have is a, is a honey. But let me tell you about that. I would love to do that. But let me explain to you my issue. The issue with me is I have fibromyalgia. And there are certain things that you can eat and drink that are not good for fibromyalgia. And two, one thing that really affects my fibromyalgia um, when I was on a diet, because I always call myself being on a diet. Have y'all ever heard of that? Um, I forgot what it's called. The cayenne, the cayenne drink where they take the cayenne pepper and they put lemon and they put honey. I was, it was recommended to me by my doctor not to do that. And that, that's kind of similar to it. So, you know, I don't know though. I don't know if it's, um, let me get this, uh, let me get this notification off here. I don't know if it's, um, actual, but thank you. I appreciate it. I don't know if it's actual, um, you know, it may be allergies. It may just be allergies. Cause my husband said that he needed to clean the, um, fan because my husband will take the the blades off of the fan and literally wipe them down with bleach and cleanser and everything. And that usually helps because what, what can end up happening, I'll go to bed, right? And the heater will cut on. And then he might turn the fan on for a little while just to cool me down. Because y'all know if you're anywhere near... It's been out since... Oh, yeah, they need to go back to school. 1220. That's what? Oh, girl, that's all, that's all, over um, three weeks. That's all. Oh, yeah, they need to go back to school. Yeah. See, I don't have that issue. I don't have no grandbabies or nothing um, here, living here. And then they ain't old enough to go to school anyway. But um, I know how my mama used to want us to. Yeah, Don, they, they need to go on back. Y'all been out long enough. Go ahead. And you know what I found out when, when, when my children were out of school? school, why my food bill increased around the holidays? Because I think you're so bored, you don't know what you want to do. But the uh, one thing you want to do is keep making my food bill go up. And we, yeah, mm -hmm. they be trying to eat. And then they say they're hungry and you fix them something to eat. And then what they do, you go, you go back to the room, go looking at a movie or doing something that you're trying to do. And then you go back up in there and guess what you, you see? Snacks and stuff still on the table. Mm-mm. Yeah, I know. Snacking all day. Mm -mm. That's the one thing I don't miss. Cheering, snacking all day. But I do, I really do miss, uh, the food bill do go up. Yes, it does. I do miss the, um, I do miss the babies because one thing about me, I don't know if I've ever even shared this with you guys, is I do love children. I love children. Shanique should know that. I like to look at her, I like to look at her um, lives and her videos because Y'all, I'm a fanatic. As a matter of fact, if you guys are on Instagram, I've got an Instagram virtual grandbaby. Now, mind you, I already got my own too, okay? Um, they are a year, no, I'm, yeah, a year and three years old. My baby boy will be uh, four years old. And my other little mama, whose birthday is seven days after mine, she'll be two in my heart but um i got me a little virtual grandbaby y'all mm, mm, mm. if y'all like if you like see i'm strange i like all babies but the thicker they are oh my god if they have if they have like michelin arms you know the michelin tire man arms <gasps> if they have that you got me okay there is this little baby on instagram and her name is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name. I think it's Hermes, Penelope. Oh, y'all, as a matter of fact, well, I don't know. I know her mother puts her pictures. You know what? 
I'm gonna, if you guys don't know her, after I get off this live, give me a few minutes after I get off the live and I'm gonna get a picture of that baby and I'm gonna put it up on, um, I'm gonna put it, put it on my community uh, tab my little virtual grandbaby because like I told her mother, I live to go on Instagram and see that chunk chunk. Y'all, she so beautiful. She just, she got, she got, my husband uh, likes her too. She, her cheeks are so chunky, y'all. You see her, and then the first thing you see are her cheeks. Oh, she's adorable. But she's so cute that all the little um, clothes companies, she modeling, y'all. The six-year-old is a miniature. Ooh! Ooh, a six-year-old teenager. Ooh, I know that's much. Probably not in a fast way, but just probably just really knowledgeable, huh? I love them, though, honey. I love me some kids. Now, I guess I should I, I love kids, but I really, 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 really love babies and, um, excuse me, babies and toddlers and, um, Yeah. Oh, you gonna miss them when they go back? Mm. Yeah, a lot of people do, Shanique. You will. You will. And I'm sure Don, Don, Don gonna miss them. But right now, she rests for them to go. Right now, y'all see. Look at my baby boo. Hey, baby boo. Y'all, he just walked right on past my crazy behind. <laughs> he got his his hair cut. I told him I said, Oh, you got two toddlers. But see, they so sweet. And I love all babies. I love. Black babies, I love Japanese babies, I love Chinese babies, I love white babies, but I really like black babies with Michelin rolls. And then, don't let them be black and mix with Michelin rolls. Woo, that's a double dose of cuteness. Oh, babe, leave that open because that's a good light right there. He just opened the door. It's so cold in California. Leave it cracked right there. Thank you. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna put her. I'm gonna put her up there. And like I said, I, I hope her mother don't. Her mother or her daddy don't think I'm, I'm, um, you know, crazy. You know, one of the reasons my uh, daughter and her and my son-in-law don't put their kids on the internet is they said that. Well, they had said they weren't gonna put their kids on the internet. You know what cracks me up about my daughter? Oh no, we've decided we're not gonna do this. Oh no, we're not gonna do that. Oh yeah, I read that in a book. Instead of me telling you stuff, you read it in a book. Okay, Charnay. But anyway, excuse me, babe. Um, oh Lord, I done lost my train of thought. Anyway, uh, I done lost it. Talking about them babies, but y'all, I love me some babies. Y'all could see my mother-in-law's house. This house is so, y'all, it is the cutest, quaintest house. It's, I think, I forgot when she said it was built. It's an older house that was built. Um, her late husband um, had it built. It was built when he bought, obviously it was built when he bought it. Duh, Carol. Um, but she's done a lot of updates to it. But y'all, it's so cute. Kirby. You really showing out. You don't have to be a guard dog. I'm in here. Chill out, partner. We're going to get you out of there. We just don't want you fussing, okay? Y'all, he hot as fish grease. Mom, you ought to see him. He know the way he looking is like, if you don't get me up out of here, when I do get out, I'm biting you. <laughs> he looking at me like it's going to be some real problems. But I just wanted to get on here and say hello to all of my beautiful beauties. Beauties and um, I like to say gents. I have a few gents that watch, but excuse me. Ooh, and I even got that, that old uh, congestion even in my nose. And you know what it could be, you guys? It could just be some upper respiratory crap. Hubby is feeling a little better, but he did say that Sheila, girl, let me tell you, this crap that I got going on, I've had it, they can tell you for weeks. I've had it since way before Christmas um, to where I didn't have a voice for weeks and weeks and weeks. And I've been, but it may have something just to do with my allergies. It really must, it, it may, but it could be too because of my husband and that, that uh, fan. But my husband y'all is still feeling kind of shabby and 
Hey, Trina. And there goes somebody else. Vivacious V. I love that name, girl. I'm happy you got your voice back. I am too. Gordon, I was so mad. How, how you going to get mad because you don't have a voice? That lets you know that you like to talk too much. Because, y'all, I had an attitude because I didn't have a voice. I remember when um, I was raising my kids. Exactly, Don. Night, night sweats in a fan. Because, see, what will happen is I'll tell my husband, okay, I'm hot. I'm cold. And then he'll turn on the fan. I mean, he'll turn on the heater. And then when he turns on the heater, I get hot. But see, my husband don't understand. Because one day we were, we, I think it was just yesterday, we were out and about driving. And no, it wasn't yesterday. It was Friday. Whatever day it was. And we were walking around kind of like doing a little shopping. And by the time we got to the car, I had on a scarf, you know. And by the time we got to the car, I was sitting up here sweating. And so I, he was like, you want me to turn on the air? I was like, yeah. And it had been on maybe, I guess, five minutes, right? So it was on five minutes. He was like, I'm freezing up in here. You're not freezing? Hey, uh, Mr. Notorious. That's why I don't always say ladies, because I do have at least one faithful gent that comes in my lives. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, you feeling horrible. I'm so sorry. I hope you start feeling well real soon. I just got this little scratchy crud, but... I don't feel horrible. I, let me tell you, Notorious, I could still eat. I ain't having no, because when I was sick, I couldn't eat. My Sunday is going pretty good, even though I have like a little scratchy throat. But other than that, my Sunday is going really good, um, uh, vivacious. It's going really, really good. I am blessed once again to be amongst the living. Oh, y'all, I did want to show y'all. I did want to show y'all these earrings, y'all. If they ain't the cutest earrings, look at these with the little tassel and gold. Let me get on here so y'all can see that. I got these like for a little dollar store in Fairfield. And I, I, I did want to show them because I think they are really cute. Okay, let's see. It's time for, oh shoot, no, it's time for me to move. I missed that one. Let me just say, I'll be loving your hair sound braids. Oh, my face is me. Thank you. Girl, I've been trying to be. I've been trying to be cute, you know, because I'm, you know, getting a little older. If I get up real close, y'all going to see all these grays. But like I told Don, I'm going to tell y'all, too. Some of y'all don't have to worry about the grays yet. But yes, baby, I have a hole right here. And along the back, I have a whole gray crown. Trying. Shoot, you be doing. <gasps> Thank you, vivacious. Um, I use, what is it called? Edge control. And it's an edge, edge control with a black dye in it. I've been good, Notorious. I've been really, really good. Blessed, 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 blessed to be amongst the living. I, I have no complaints. You got them grays too, girl. But the one thing I do want to tell you about them grays, though, them grays are wisdom. And I told my children, because my children are like, Mom, you don't, y'all, when I tell you this, and whenever I talk about her, she pops up in the live, my daughter. She... You always said that you wanted to be a grandmother and here you, you know, you get, a, you, you get to be a grandmother and then you're dying your hair. It's mine. I can dye it, but I promised that I would not dye it. So I haven't dyed it in probably three to four months and it doesn't make sense. Lord, what is this prime? Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm all over subjects. I was going to say, I just got my prime delivery. Um, turn 40 in April. Yes, by the time you turn 40, they will be popping up everywhere. Mm -hmm. They will. And you know what? Ain't nothing that we can do about them, so we might as well welcome them. I mean, you could dye it, but who is that talking about they turn it 30? Girl, Shanique 33 in April. Girl, you is a young thing, pretty young thing. I'm surprised I don't have gray yet, and I'm 52. Girl, you blessed, Sheila. You blessed, because guess what? Mine started coming... I think I seen my first gray, I believe when I was 29, but my father, when he passed away, um, when he passed away, he had a head full of hair and he passed away in 2011. Shanique, what day in April? Yeah, Shanique, you're young. Girl, if y'all seen me when I was Shanique's age, y'all wouldn't even, that's all I gotta say. I just gotta turn my head and swell my cheeks as baby. Shanika, 33, you're April the 15th. That's my cousin's birthday. Um, 
Yeah, 33 hours of hot whole entire mess. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for deliverance and for getting myself together. Be here. Okay, dear. Thank you. Quick, okay? Oh, you're going to go up the street real quick. You better come on back real quick. I'm a hot mess. Let me lead it. Huh? Okay, I hear you, babe. Yeah, y'all, here I am. I'm the tenth Aries. Look at her time. You know what, um, Vivacious, I don't know too many. I think that might be the deacon right now. I don't know too many um, Aries, but I do now, huh? But yeah, grades are good. They just, all grades indicate is, is wisdom. But the one thing I will say about my gray hair is this. Y'all know I'm natural. I'm natural curly. Ain't nothing wrong with being natural. I hate these. Sorry, y'all. I hate those notifications. I probably should turn them off when I go live. But um, uh, the one thing I have noticed, and I think it's Dawn that can talk to us about this. She's a master on this, I'm quite sure. Oh, you're getting married this year? Well, congratulations. Canceling first. Yes, baby. Get your counseling first. Yes, ma'am. Because you will be surprised all the things that can come about with you getting married, not having counseling. Get your counseling first. I tell everybody that. You know, I always mention I was married before. I'm not. Um, I know. Ain't that good, Don? Congratulations to Shanique. Um, I always tell everybody I was married before. And you know what? I love my children's father. I'm not in love with him. I am madly. When I tell y'all madly in love with my husband. Mr. Jax, yes, indeed, indeed. Hi, dear. Um, y'all don't have my glasses. Uh, is it S1, baby? Uh-oh. Let me, let me let me go on through here. Y'all, we got the deacon coming in, and I'll, I'm running my mouth all loud. Okay, mom. I'm coming in. A, the deacon got to come and do the, uh, sorry, y'all. He got to come. I'm in the dining room now. He got to come and do the, uh, the uh, what is it called? The, uh, y'all know, today, first Sunday, communion for my mother in love because my mother in love haven't been feeling well. So let me adjust and I'm going to sit, sit this here. But um, what I was saying that Don could probably help us with is the fact that Oh, this is so janky looking. Oh, well, it's tilted, but oh, well, it's because on my phone that I have. Y'all hear that dog? Okay, vivacious. I need to be cleaning my closet. Um, what I realized, what I found out is that my gray hair, she said, girl, honey, no, for reals. I need to clean mine out. My husband said, okay, I'm going to go back to this after I finish with this gray hair. Because y'all, my husband told me I need to work on jumping from subject to subject. So, gray hair. Why is gray hair wiry? My gray hair, I could put all kinds of gel on it. And that gray hair do what it wants to do. I, it's, this had gel on it today. It's all, I got baby froze on the side of my head. See? Just froze, froze on the side of my head. And what I found is that my natural hair, especially the grays. Hey, Nikki, how are you, honey? Happy Sunday. I found out that the grays are just, they're just disobedient. They, they, they don't, they don't do right. The grays do not do right. They don't want to lay down. Then they got this bright idea where they decided to start selling gel without alcohol. I'm sorry. I need gel with alcohol because these edges need to be crusty. Now, y'all know my hair curly. I guess you could say, quote unquote, some people be like, girl, you got good hair. It's fine. Okay. Well, why does, what's going on right here? Why well, I got, I got one. I got about six furrows around the edge of my hair. And I don't understand that. It's not, I'm not supposed to have furrows. I ain't got no sense. Um, and then what's the other thing I said? I was talking, no, seriously. I got six furrows vivacious. Six. I hope you don't mind me calling you vivacious. Because it has color. It has a different structure. See, the hairstylist told us the reason 
the colored hair, the black hair, okay. The black hair has structure. Because I notice my grays are very wiry. They're very, very, very wiry. Oh, that's what I was saying about the video. In the video that I did, that's what I want you guys to let me know. Okay? So I do the makeup videos, and I don't have a problem doing the makeup videos, but I speed them up. And that one that I sped up, I think it was only five minutes, y'all. Y'all, when I did that video without speeding it up, that video was 35 minutes. My husband was like, don't nobody want to look at no, four, no 30, 40 minute video. And my daughter says the same thing. So if you guys actually want me to do one where I go straight up bare face and actually tell you how I do it, I can. But you just need to either put it, five, eight, you my kind of girl. I do too. I love longer videos. I do too. But you can speed up certain parts. Me too. Okay, see, Shanique like them longer. You know what I'll do? I'll probably just to see the tech. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. So what I'll do is, so that one was like a little soft glam. Maybe I'll do the next time. I have this one look I absolutely love. And it is, um, it, it ain't going to sound cute, but it's cute. My husband and I are supposed to be going on a date. Shanique, you don't know nothing about makeup. I'm going to whoop you. <laughs> We're supposed to be going on a date. And when we go on a date, probably this Friday, because we didn't go on our vacation. We didn't. We decided just to go ahead and stay home and save some money. But we probably will go on a date um, this Friday. And this look that I do is, is like, it's like a smoky eye right here. Y'all know what? I didn't think people like long videos, but my 19. Yeah, see, I didn't think they like it. I know I'll be writing down items people use. If it goes too fast, you can't do it. Exactly. That's what I was saying. Okay, so what I what I will do, y'all see how big this thing is? What I will do is I will um I will do some fast, but the next one I do, the very next one, I will make it. I'm gonna have to hold this because if this thing fall, the very next one, I will make it, I will completely go step to step. And then you're right, uh, Vivacious, I can speed up some stuff. What I have been doing is I have been using the, um, what is it? The uh, video editor, Kind Master. Okay, Shanique, you like animal print? I love every animal print. Listen to this. I love I love cat. I love dog. <laughs> I love mouse. No, I love zebra. I love leopard. Yes, Kind Master is really good, but I'm still kind of learning it. Um, sometimes the editors have too much. And what, you know, actually Kind Master is, I was using it because I like the clarity of the videos. He might have left, Mom. He may have left. He'll be right back though. I like the um I like the quality the quality of the videos, the actual quality of them. And when I'm doing them, I go inside of it and I can find all kinds of stuff. I mean, Kind Master, especially the free version, because I'm the type of woman, if they have something that is free, I'm not paying $40 for it. No, I'm not. I'm not. If I can save my $40 for possibly some food or to pay on a bill, I'd rather do that than to pay. If y'all puppies don't stop, I call them puppies because they ate, they little. We got an old, uh, we got an old, um, what is he, is he a pit bull? His name is Muggsy. And um, then we got an eight year old Sammy, she's a German Shepherd. German Shepherd police dog, and then we got the shushu, but they outside. Little shushu is inside, but yeah, you guys. So that's good to know about those videos, girl. N Nikki, I thought it was only me. You know what? I love pit bulls, but you know what's my favorite dog? I got two favorite dogs. Well, actually, I got three. I love pit bulls. I love, 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 love Rockweilers with the two little moles right here. Oh, I love them, and I also love um. Um, and my husband said he's going to get me Cocker Spaniels. I love Cocker Spaniels too. I think, I think that's a beautiful dog. I had one actually when I was pregnant with my baby boy, 
But what ended up happening is once I delivered my child, he was barking at him and trying to jump on that bed. And I was like, you know what? Before I murder a dog, he gonna have to go. So we ended up giving Penny away, which years ago. But I do want my own little fluff ball. I really do. I, lo I love me some puppies. I do. I do. But for some reason, they really like me. Don is a queen. <laughs> That's because they is hungry. They hungry to get anybody that's trying to get their master. Trust. Pit bulls are. Don, they are. Pit bulls don't play that. Okay? They do be hungry. Hungry to get that blood should you step your butt out of line. I grew up with my pit bulls. That's the only dog my dad would own when I was. I know that's right. I'm going to wait until my. Yes, Shanique. Wait until your kids get older. Mm-hmm. And you're going to get them a dog. Yeah, wait until the kids get older because kids don't really understand that you can't be pulling tails. I remember I had a Caucasian friend when I lived in Virginia, y'all. Bless her heart. Her name is Tammy. And um, she says she got her kids beta fish, girl. <laughs> Vivacious, you funny. Um, and honey, she going to... Oh, what, what part of Virginia? I don't know where my other Virginia girl is either. Um, but honey, she gonna tell me, yeah, this is a wild cat and you know, um, he needs a home. Woodbridge, Woodbridge, Woodbridge. Okay, so I lived in all over Virginia. I was married to someone in the military. So I lived in Newport News, Hampton. I lived in Norfolk. I worked in Virginia Beach. I know Virginia. Um, Oh, let's see. Um, what was I talking about? I was talking about that cat girl and that cat. Mm -mm. I left and went on to about three hours. Okay. I left and went on to go do what I was doing around the house and came back up in the room, y'all, into the kitchen. Hey, Tracy. Well, welcome to the live. That cat was on my refrigerator, y'all. On my refrigerator. I was like, okay, I know y'all be hopping. I know y'all be hopping. But guess what? What we not going to do is have cats on the refrigerator. He had to go. He had to go. I can't get no pets until my 10-year-old daughter move out because she's scared of everything. Oh, my goodness. She's so cute, too, Nikki. You got a cute baby girl. I call them babies until, girl, my daughter 30, and she's still a baby. I don't care what nobody say. They steal my babies, all of them. I got a baby that'll be, my baby will be 28 on next Saturday, 28-year-old boy, big old thing. Quant what is that, Quantino and Woodbridge? I, you know what, I think I knew someone that lived in Woodbridge. You know, the only problem I had with Virginia, you guys, was this. Right, Sheena? They always gonna be your babies. Um, ooh, cats, mm -mm. you had a cat years ago, but had to get rid of him because his son, your son had allergies. Yeah, they're horrible for allergies, they are. But dogs are too, dogs are too, trust. Um, but uh yeah honey and a lot of people you guys i used to get a lot of slack um when my kids were coming up and even now even with my husband now um he'd be like them ain't no babies yes they are i think it's different for mothers though i think it's i think it's entirely different for mothers because mothers just excuse me my daughter mahogany said you are beautiful well tell miss hogany miss mahogany i said thank you and so is she um, but yeah, honey, they will always be my babies. I, you can be, you gonna, you can be 72, you gonna be, and I'm 90, but you still gonna be my baby. I don't care. I don't care. They my babies. I love, I, I, like I told you guys in another live, I don't know how I, before I left my first husband, I don't know how I had, I didn't have a whole bunch of kids because I love children. I do. I really do. I used to work in a daycare for a little while, but I had to get on away from that when that little girl said that I didn't like her. He turns 10 on Tuesday and then daughter turns nine. I'm like, oh, yeah, you got good ages too. Nine and 10 is good. You know, they get a little questionable when they get up to be about, mm, I think it starts at about 13 for the girls, 14 for the boys. And then they get kind of, you know, like my mama used to say, they smell in self, but they're still our babies. They're still our babies. I was talking to my older sister. And when I go to Georgia, 
I don't know I was gonna go for Christmas but we're gonna go um, me and the hubby or I may go myself 10 9 3 and 2 Ooh, them 3 and 2 year olds girl they wouldn't be able to do no wrong haunty I love those ages I love the baby ages um, baby and toddler but um, when we go oh Nikki yeah He's two years old and you 42. Oh, that's so cute. Matter of fact, Nikki, I heard him in a video and I was like, oh, listen to the baby. And you was like, that ain't no baby. That's a big, that is a baby. Oh, that's so sweet. I love him, y'all. I love him. But my sister, when I go to Georgia, me and her are going to do a live because you guys have got to meet her. It would, it would, it would not be right for me to have her as a sister because she's wonderful and um, not allow you guys to meet her, but she's so funny. But I was talking to her, was it yesterday? Yesterday or the day before, and I was telling her, she was explaining to me that my niece, who my, my husband says should be my daughter because she's shaped like me and looked like me. I said, that's how it is when it's family. They take, you know, looks for, you know, after everybody. And so, um, you know, she's going through some things, you know, with, with job and finance. You know, when, they, when they're in their 20s, early 20s, and they're trying to, you know, trying to make it, trying to get into their adulting. You're right, because he acts like he is five. I know he do. I know he do. Um, she said her baby keeps her two-year-old, keeps her young at 42. I know he do. Because, baby, when I had that child in my 30s, uh, I was like, no. Um, I ain't even tell y'all that story. Mm, that was a story. Um, but she was just telling me how I'm not even gonna tell you how old minds are. Listen to Don. Don, I know you are just as beautiful as you want to be. I love your personality. And you know what? I, I wish y'all are all my favorites. I have some of the most wonderful subscribers. Every time I get on here and I have people get on my live or people go to my videos and say something. If y'all just, like I said before, uh, before Christmas came, if I could get everybody a Christmas present, I would for real. That's really from my heart. But if y'all could just see my heart, I mean, I'd be like, Oh, you know, cause I do, I, I'm a, I'm a people lover. I love people and I love good people. Um, and you, I just seem to be blessed with some really, I mean, you know, you get, you know, you get people that come on and say things that are kind of questionable, but it is what it is. I mean, hey, this is YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I just made up my mind. I'm not going to let them get to me. It is what it is. You know, I periodically though, you know, I did get a little spicy. Um, I did get a little spicy, I think last week when somebody said something to me about Liv's life and her wedding. And you know, I don't have personally anything against, um, aw, a 19 year old and a two year old. Who said that? But um, y'all, these things, I wish we could slow these comments down so I could see them. Y'all got on, first of all, I got these old dragon I like it so. <laughs> so I'm like trying to see. But um, yeah, y'all are the best. Y'all are the absolute best. And um, like I said, I got spicy with somebody the other day because she was telling me something about what anybody just so, basically what she said was just so that I and anybody else who was not aware of Liv actually having her wedding, I need to look on Instagram. I'm like, uh, no, 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 boo boo kitty. You don't tell me, not me, what I need to do. So I had to tell her, look, the video was made before, and I don't follow her on Instagram. That's one thing I do. That, you want to get on my bad side? Tell me what to do. My husband don't even tell me what to do. He give me suggestions, but he don't, no one tells me what to do. My boys are about to be 18, 13, and 6. Oh, good ages. Really good ages. That 13, oh, boo. Well, 13 is for the girls. Oof. But I love them. Kids are a blessing. They're a blessing from God. They really, really are. They Kids make you really, really, really think about life because you can see, yes, indeed, honey. You know what? The most important thing is this about all of us that are mothers. 
Because there may be some people on here who aren't. Oh, she said they pluck her. Yeah, girl, they're going to pluck your nerves. Yes. That don't mean you don't love them. Um, the most important thing that we have to remember as parents is this. And I told myself this from day one. They didn't ask to be here. They didn't. They did not go in your womb and say, can I, can I occupy your womb? They didn't do that. No, you was doing something to allow them to occupy that womb. We was, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to tell you all a story about my son, my, uh, my baby boy. I got a bonus baby too. His name is Cartier. That's my husband's uh, son, but he's also my baby to your grandson. Honey, Sheila, I got a, I got a four-year-old. Is my baby four? A three-year-old grandson. He'll be four in March, and I have a one-year-old granddaughter. And guess what? They live in Texas, but baby, I FaceTime them at least two to three days out of the week. And when I don't, I'm fiending. Like right now, I'm fiending because I haven't talked to him in a couple of days. But honey, we kiss the screen. We do all this. And girl, I love my babies. But my baby actually will be, I believe my baby will be 22. Mm -hmm. My baby will be 22 in August, Okay. Um, so that lets you guys know that I was 31 when I had him. And at the time that I had him, my first husband, and I speak of Curtis. His name is Curtis Walker, by the way. I speak of him um, not in a way of anything other than he's my ex-husband, okay? That's somebody else's husband. He's remarried. Thank you, Jesus. Because it was not happening. Would He kept telling my kids, talk to her. Talk to her for what? No. So he found him a wife. He found him a good thing. And I'm glad he did because it was not going to happen here. No. So anyway, at the time him and I, at the time I got pregnant, him and I were going through, hey, Trina, I was wondering, you know what? She better get, y'all, this is my girl, Trina, and she always miss my lives. That's, she, we having a meeting and you need to say, hi, my name is Trina Dot Reynolds and I'm always missing my sister girl's lives. No, I'm kidding. Glad to have you, darling. But um, I had my baby when I was 30 and she'll be 22. I know that girl and babies, they're wonderful, they're wonderful, they're wonderful. So my baby... She said, girl, y'all, she said it too. She said, I love you, Trina. You're so sweet. So what I did is I, um, I was feeling sick, you know, and I was like, uh, okay, now mind you guys, you know how some people, when they have their heyday, when we're coming up is, you know, some people have it in, when they're 15, 16 and 17, some have it 18 to 20. Y'all literally, my heyday was coming when I say my heyday is I was finding myself at 30. And part of the reason I was finding myself at 30 is because I married young, very young. And so um, I married young. And so I basically, I just poured everything into raising my children. We decided that I was gonna stay home and raise my children. I didn't work outside the home. I did, you know, at home businesses and things of that nature. Long story short, we were having problems. I would venture out to say that it was infidelity. And I am saying on his part because I was not being unfaithful. Seriously. He was in the Navy. He was out there doing, bucking and doing all kinds of crazy stuff because he was hanging with young guys who were not married. Okay. Long story short, somehow I got pregnant. So I was like, I know I ain't pregnant. So I went to the doctor and I went on a military base and I said, I think you need to take a pregnancy test because um, my period didn't come and I feel kind of funny. Now, mind you, my daughter at the time was 28. I think my daughter was like, she probably was eight. And my son was six. So I'm like, okay, cool. I got my kids are good ages, you know. They can go make a bowl of cereal and stuff. And my daughter's always been able to take care of her brother and sister, even when she didn't have to. If I was sick with allergies in Virginia, because them allergies wore me out in Virginia, 
my daughter would help me out a lot. She's always been my ace bone scone. Always. She, that is my favorite, favorite girl. Charnay is my favorite girl. So I go to the military base and I tell them, and they said, okay, well, we'll do a urine. And they did a urine and they said, yep, you're pregnant. Go down, you know, basically, you know, they, they get it done and then get you out of there. So they talk about, well, go down to the, um, go down the hall and, and make a ride. I looked at him and I went, I'm not going down the hall and making a right nothing. When do I have to be here in the morning for you to take a blood test to make absolutely sure I'm pregnant? I said, because there's no way. Mind you, mind you, ain't taking no birth control pills or nothing. However, I, I don't get pregnant easy. I wasn't having problems conceiving. I had mine close together so they could... John, I cannot with you. John says she had hers close. <laughs> God darn, she's so crazy. So anyway, uh, I go down there. He says, oh yeah, why sure, you can come in the morning. You can come in the morning, first thing in the morning, we'll take your blood test. Y'all, that man, I got there at like eight o'clock. That man took that blood test. He said, because my name was Walker. He said, he said, no, he wasn't that. He said, he said, well, look how he said this. Guess my, guess what, Mrs. Walker? And I went, what? I'm not pregnant, right? He went, congratulations. You can go down the hall and make a right. I went, <laughs> girl got to crying up in there. He was like, wait a minute, wait, wait. Do you want the child? I mean, what, what's going on? Well, at the time I was having marital problems. So I didn't want to bring another child into the world. But when I tell you that my baby boy, his name is Christian David Walker. When I tell you that that boy was a blessing in our life, he was just a blessing. And I thank God um, that I had my baby, but he didn't save my marriage because it wasn't God's plan. But yeah, I act a plum. I gave y'all the short version. Um, I thought that they was going to have to sedate me. They had to call my husband. He had to come and get me because I was acting a donkey. Because you guys know what? As nice as I am, mm -hmm, I can be donkeyfied quick, especially when things aren't going my way. Yeah, unfortunately. But yeah, y'all, I love me some babies. Love me some babies. I love, I'm just a people person. I love people. I do. I love people. And I, um, I was basically pregnant for five years straight. Oh, uh-uh. No, honey, uh-uh. No. I, and you know what? It's so funny, Don. When I got pregnant with my second child, my mom had come down to Virginia because I was living in Virginia, right? And I'm the one who looks just like my mother. I have I have um, two sisters. I'm lying. I have a sister, a younger sister, and I have a younger brother, an older sister. I'm the one who looks exactly like my mother. I'm probably like maybe a shade or two darker than her. My mother is a, is a, is a light bright, but um, I look like her. And honey, see, see y'all, I got somebody saying, yes, she do. Yes, she do. Yep. Just like her. I, you know what, Trina? I try to fight it. And sometimes when I take pictures, I go, oh, look at me looking just like, they, my mom is a hot mess, y'all. Her name is Vera. She called herself Sweet V, okay? Sweet V. You call on her phone, she go, hi, you have reached Sweet V. If she don't sit her tail down somewhere, you up in your 70s talking about Sweet V. Sweet V nothing. Girl, she need to say out, Trina, but... <laughs> but, um, so I look just like her, right? And so, um, shape and everything. Shape and everything. Look just like her. Girl, she a mess. Talking about Sweet V. She need to sit down somewhere. That's what she need to do. And I look like her, but unfortunately, my older sister acts like her, cooks like her, all that. But you can't tell her that. You can't, girl, she said, get it, mama. Girl, and when I go to, when I go to Georgia, I'm going to put her on too. So y'all can see, because she's, a, that one is a whole mess. You a great grandma acting like you 23. Sit down somewhere. But yeah, y'all, I tell y'all, I should, right? Shouldn't I? Girl, she living too much. You know what she told, had the nerve to tell me? She gonna tell me, I would, guess what I was on? This was a couple of weeks ago. Guess what I was on? I was like, what? She said, I was on 
what's she calling? Love me a BBW. I went, what? <laughs> Tell me she was on love me a BBW. I said, doing what? Oh, I would, you know, I meet friends and went on dates with them and everything. My sister said, I told my sister, I said, my mama had a kid is as fine as wine. She doesn't look like she had one. What? See, she blessed. That's what they used to say about me. But girl, uh, I look my age. I see it. I definitely look like my age to me. Yeah, my daughter, when she was in high school, um, she, she used to, here in California, I'm sure it's probably now, it's probably all around. You know how they wear their, um, you know, their badges that tell you their name and their home class and what grade they're in? Girl never had a stretch mark. Oh, yeah, she get on my nerves too. And Don talking about, oh, go ahead, come on, y'all. Trina said, I don't look my age. Hey, and Don said, I don't look my age. All right now, okay. But you know what, though? 53 years old, but I'm ready to be, I want to be 55 because I want the discounts. I do. I want the discounts. Yeah, I, I'll be 54 in July, but I do. I think I, the reason I think I do is because of this. And guess what? Trina said, I don't either. This is from my mama right here. Y'all will see. Well, thank y'all. Y'all so sweet. Y'all are so, so sweet. I appreciate that. Um, but she said, girl, stop. Trina, now since you said I look like her, tell them, don't these bags look like hers? <laughs> hers is a little puffy, though. I prayed. I said on that video, I was like, Lord, don't let me get no puffy eyebrow. eyebrow. I, I do look like my... Now, Trina, you can also vouch that I look like my father's side as well. Because I, as I get older, I believe I look like Wilson. Yes, I do. I look shown up like Wilson. And I think that me and Carla favor a lot, too. And Linda... Girl, I look a little, some, who was that? I'm trying to see, oh, she's not in the live. There was, I think her name is, um, Kamtar, Kamali Sar, I think her name is. Um, I love talking to her through, uh, through, you know, through messages because she had so much wisdom, but she told me that whenever she looks at videos or she looks at my lives, that she asked herself, is Carol and Vivica Fox twins? I used to hear that all the time. Remember when, um, I'm sorry, Trina with an E, that's you I'm talking to now. There is another Trina who is my cousin in this live and her last name is Harris. So I'm sorry, just know this. There is no difference between y'all. I love you both. So if I say Trina, um, just know that, uh, girl, just know that I love y'all. They say that, Nikki, they say that. Now, I don't think I look like her now. I don't think that I favor, because, no, I don't think I favor Vivica Fox now because she's had so much work done to her. And I have not had no work done to me. Mm -mm. But when she wore her hair in a short haircut, I looked like her. When I was a lot thinner, I looked like her. Um, matter of fact, I had a video back in the day on Facebook and MySpace, way back in the day. And you know how they do um, celebrity lookalikes? I did pictures of me and her. And I was like, oh my God, I look like her. You know what's really funny though? Her name is Vivica Fox. Um, my older sister's name is Shanna Letitia Vivian Jackson, okay? My name, I don't know why she did this, is Carol DeLois Jackson. I was born with that name, but I also married a Jackson as well. So my mama was going to name me Sharon Vivica Jackson. Could you imagine if she had named me Vivica? I would have show dropped that Sharon because, girl, I would have went and went to Hollywood talking about, uh-huh, we can. Yeah, girl, to try to act, sure would have. Mm-hmm. 
But yeah, people say it all the time. And a lot of people tend to say that my personality is like hers. I, I used to think so, but I think as Vivica has gotten older, I think that she, she doesn't seem to be very genuine to me. And I'm not knocking her. I think she's a beautiful lady, but she just, I liked her in um, Independence Day. Y'all, I even wore my hair like that with that little swoop. I remember going up on base and they used to, them guys used to stop me and say, excuse me, I know you with your babies, but uh, are you can of Vivica? No, nope. no, nope. we just, you know. I had my hair in braids one time going to bingo. But anyway, um, I had my hair in braids one time. This lady was like, you look just like Vivica Fox, girl. I said, well, thank you. So I get that a lot. I do. I get that a lot. But yeah, y'all, look at this. Look at this little thing. I told my mother-in-law, this is so cute, y'all. This is, this is country. But y'all know what? This thing is worth some money. This is worth some money. I love this little, little bird thing. I know, I'll just be jumping. Y'all, I'll be all over the place. And it ain't because I got a scattered brain. It's just because I see everything. Everything. Yes, you do. Your eyes and my girl, this head. All these grains up in here. Look, y'all, look at this forehead. Look at this forehead from here to here. Girl, I got a whole bunch of brains up in there. And I thank God for it. Well, y'all. I guess I didn't talk y'all ear way off. It's a, it's a, I'm an hour into this live. Um, oh, that's what I did want to tell you guys. We are definitely, I promise y'all, I promise y'all, we're definitely going to do the video. She sometimes is snobby. She does. It, and you know what, for me, um, with Vivica, that, that is exactly what it is. It's kind of like she puts on that snobby air. And don't get me wrong, she's a beautiful lady. She shouldn't have done nothing to her face, though. But I guess when you're in that limelight, you know, I guess the bags wouldn't work for her. If anybody know of a really, really, really good concealer, I always enjoy your lives. Carol, your voice is... I hear that all the time, uh, Nikki. People be... Let me tell y'all what these people be telling me about my voice, Okay. This lady said to me that she listens to my videos when she goes to sleep, y'all. Have you tried ColourPop No Filter Concealer? I have not, but you know what? I'm going to because I've just been using um, the one that I showed you guys on the video, um, LA Girl, but it, it's not doing... I better grab a color pop. Would you say one more time? Put it up in there. Color pop what? It's six. Girl, I need to go find that right now. Six dollars. Because when you said color pop, I was like, that's like probably twenty dollars. Because I'll tell you what I don't do. <coughs> I remember. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys, you guys, I'm transparent, right? Y'all know I'm transparent. So I remember when you can go on the website or you can buy from Ulta. Okay, I'm gonna try that out. When I um, stopped working uh, back in 2009, y'all, this is gonna crack y'all up. I remember, I, end, I used to work for the government. Actually, correction. I used to work for, do you guys, I don't know if you're familiar with what TRICARE is. TRICARE is um, a military entitlement. So, um, um, active duty, retirees, those that go into the, the, the reserves, they get a military entitlement, military insurance, exactly. It used to be called, um, it's TRICARE now here in, I was in the Air Force. Okay, it used to be called Champus. Okay, it used to be called Champus years ago, but it's changed. So I used to work for TRICARE and it's called TRICARE here on the West Coast because there are three different um, areas. I think it's Northern, Southern, and I don't, I don't, anyway, it's three different, that's why they call it TRI. So I used to work there and you had to get a background check. And I literally, 
transparent, you guys, lost my job, they say, because at that time, my credit was shot. It was, I had a student loan, $25,000, $26,000. Um, I was in debt, and they said that I was a perfect candidate for exp espionage because I had access to credit cards and uh, debit cards and checking accounts and all this kind of stuff. So they let me go. However, when I got let go, I had been offered another position making $24,000 more a year. And um, it was just a lot of stuff. And we think, honestly, I don't think that I was let go for the reason that I was told that I was let go. I believe I was let go because, um, I believe I was let go because I was sick. I, I, at that time, I was. it was in 2009, I was going through a lot of stuff, emotionally, mentally, physically, because I don't know if I've even shared with you guys, I um, dealt with a lot of um, depression and anxiety at one time in my life, very bad, um, clinically depressed, where I had to go and see a counselor. And I call it a counselor, but I had to go and see a psychologist. I was on medication, all of that. So I had missed a lot of work. And then my body physically started getting sick as well. So that out of the way. Um, so I said all that to say this. Y'all, I be forgetting stuff. That's how I know I'm getting old. Cause girl, I be forgetting stuff. Um, I don't know what I was saying. I don't know. I don't know why I say that. Telling y'all about the job. I don't even know. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I used to work for the summer star. Someone's daughter wanted your job. Is that what I said, Don? Somebody wanted my job. Anyway, I was good at it and I stopped, I stopped working there. And then I haven't worked. Are you guys, I haven't worked in, what is this, 2020? I haven't worked since 2009. But do I look like somebody who haven't worked since 2009? God has kept me. Yes, ma'am. God has kept me. But I have been sick. I'm actually permanently, permanently disabled. <clears throat> now, check this one out. So you lose your job in 2009. That's what it was. It came back to me, Don. Thank you. Hey, Lady B. So I lost my job in 2009. So that's what we're talking about. We're talking about that makeup. And so I went to social services, y'all. And I was like, I lost my job. I don't have no money. My kids need food. Because my kids were younger. I said, what can y'all do for me? The, guess what the lady gonna look at me and tell me, a black lady? She say, oh, your face is so pretty. Guess what my crazy butt said to her? <laughs> I said, oh, thank you, this is Mac. You up in social services, the welfare department, telling the lady that you got Mac on. Can y'all believe I did that? But it didn't stop nothing. They, they ended up helping me. But ever since then, I buy, um, I mostly buy store-bought makeup. I don't buy... I'm trying to think. If I get anything name brand, it's inside of my um, Ipsy bag or my Ipsy box. I don't buy anything name brand, no more. But if I can find a primer that's really, really good and that can hide the darkness under my eyes, I would pay some good money for that. But yeah. Yeah, y'all, I took my raggedy tail up into that welfare department, telling that lady I had Mac. Y'all should have seen that lady. She, she actually looked at me and went, because, you know, I mean, they be, look, they be looking at you. You were talking about your voice. The voice. See, girl, thank you. Thank you for bringing me back on track. Get, veer me right back. But, yeah, people always say you need a life before See, y'all be knowing where I'm at. Y'all know where I leave off. So, basically, y'all, um, I've lived, I'm, I'm what, like I said, I'm 53. I've lived a good life. I was married a long time before the first marriage, had three children, and now God has blessed me with this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful soul that I'm married to now, and, um, we're good and all is well and y'all helped me build my YouTube channel and I love y'all and y'all just don't know I'm very grateful very very grateful sometimes I do get discouraged though especially when I look at my analytics 
Somebody say they got to go. I'm going to whoop you talking about power is on. You know what, Nikki? I could never get into that. I could never get into power, but girl, enjoy it. What you say, Trina? No, I didn't what? Look, Y'all know what, too? This hair, it's nice, but you know what? It tangles so bad. Every day I get up, I've got tangles in this hair. Just tangles. I'm trying. Color pop or Morphe. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going to go check and see because um, I don't like these bags. Y'all ain't going to be able to tell me nothing, though. If I can get this, this right here to be cleared up, girl, y'all ain't going to be able to tell me nothing. No, I'm just playing. I'm going to still be the same Carol that I always am. You guys, I did get a new phone, and I believe the clarity is a lot better. It's, I got the 11. <coughs> Excuse me. I had, um, <clears throat> let's throw it scratchy. I had the X Max, um, but I did get the 11. If you guys don't have the iPhone, get that. Don't get discouraged. I'm 53 and just start a channel. Girl, you know, that's what I'm saying. I get discouraged sometimes because let me tell you guys um, about it. Once you get your 4,000 viewing hours, and then you get your 1,000 subscribers. It's so much red tape in it. I'm just gonna be real. So in order for you to even start getting paid, okay, you have to meet a threshold of, a you have to meet $100 first before they even cut you your first check. After you meet your $100, you'll, you'll be getting paid. It's just that first threshold. What I didn't know is, say for instance, within your threshold, within you trying to meet your threshold, your viewing hours go down, okay? Your money do. Trina told me to go back to Mac in the welfare office. Okay, y'all? Trina, only thing I was saying was, I'm up in the welfare office trying to get some assistance and food for me and my kids and telling the lady, she telling me my makeup was pretty and I told her, oh, it's Mac. And I'm in a welfare office. That's all. Basically, I need to shut my mouth sometimes and don't talk about stuff. Girl, who gonna go up into the welfare office talking about, now look, I had enough sense to take off my rings. I had enough sense to take off my rings, but I go up in there telling her I got on Mac. Because back in the day when I was younger, y'all, I didn't go nowhere without makeup. Nowhere, nowhere, uh-uh. I don't care if I was going to the store to get milk. I don't care if I was washing my hair. If I was washing my hair, cause I used to club. I used to club Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and sometimes on Monday if it was a holiday. And that is no lie. I had on my makeup, it didn't matter. I wasn't going nowhere. Trina, tell them, honey. I wasn't going nowhere without makeup. So now I do. But, um, cause I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not, I think that may have had something to do with not just, it, it had to have something to do with self-esteem and a surety or something, because now, even though I'm saying I have these little bags, baby, when I wash my face and put my moisturizer on, my face is, I, I've got good skin. You know, I've got really, really good skin. I don't have bad skin. The only thing um, I guess I would complain about too are my moles. As I said, I one time before also in the lives, um, as you get older, I know in my family, as we as women get older, we get these little fine moles. And I got one right here that got the nerve to be a projectile. I had a friend that did that. So you said you had a friend. Did they help her? They helped me. They they did help me. But they also sent an investigator out to my house, y'all. Yeah, they helped me, but they also sent an investigator out to my house. And at the time that I, I'm telling you guys, I try so hard when I get on here and talk to you guys. I try so hard not to... Um, 
shove the Lord down anybody's throat. That's never my intent. It's never. But when I tell you that the grace of God has been on my life, my whole life, girl, oh my gosh. So they ended up helping me. They gave me assistance. But remember, okay, so Trina, here it comes. Trina, my cup girl. So, so okay, remember I was working for the government or a government contractor. I stopped working. I went to, had to go to welfare because I had no income. After I had that check, let me tell you what those people have the nerve to do at the job. They let me work the whole day. They didn't tell me. They just pulled me in like maybe 40 minutes before it was time for me to go and told me. And then they said, well, the reason we told you, we, we didn't want to mess up your day. No, you wanted to get some work out of me, you know, before you let me go. But I ended up having to go and get on assistance, which was okay. But remember I told you guys that I was sick. I had had a um, partial hysterectomy in June of 2008, okay? So almost a year later, because that was in April 2009 that I stopped working. And um, when, I, when I had the hysterectomy, I kept telling my sister and my mother, everybody, they must have left some scissors up in me. They, they did something, some cotton or something up in there because I feel sick. You guys, my physical body was just, all, I was always tired. I was always in pain and I didn't understand why. Um, so while I was still working and sick, my mother was telling me, you need to see about getting on, um, on a temporary unemployment, you know, uh, I'm sorry, not temporary unemployment, temporary disability, because they need to find out exactly, work a whole day, and then tell you that they don't, and, and look, he was a white man that used to call me Sunshine. Y'all, why every white white boss I'd never had called me Sunshine? Every single one of them. I say, I must have been uh, darkness that day, because he showed work my butt and then let me go. Um, So, I was sick, so I went to welfare, okay, and they helped me out. Well, when welfare helps you, I know, isn't that terrible? And they do it to people every day. They do it to people even now. So went to welfare, they helped me out. Well, you know, when you get assistance, social services or anything, and guess what? Not a pat on my back, but all glory, honor, and praise goes to God. Because guess what? I believe at that time I was in my 40s. And guess what, y'all? That was the first time in my entire life as an adult, I had to go and get social services. The first time, nope, I didn't, ha I, I, I was married to a man that took care of me for many years. When I left him, hadn't worked 20 plus years, left that man, came to California, got a car that had eight miles on it, got a job at the hospital, Y'all, God is good. You hear me? He is good. So, got a job at the hospital, and then he, God has just kept me. So anyway, um, once I stopped working, as I said, at the um, for the contractor, well, Sammy, you just gonna stand outside the window and bark? That's what she doing. She see me, so she wanna bark. So. Got a job um, working there, and then I stopped and got help from, from the assistance. But this is the part that's going to get you guys. Usually when you get put on assistance and you have children, you better go to school. You better be looking for a job. You better do something because they're not going to keep paying you and allowing you. Sammy, stop that. They're not going to pay you. And they thinking, you know, you can work. Now, mind you guys, remember I said I was sick. Guess what I did? I filed for disability. Wow. I was getting social services. So then, after a while, uh, they cut that off. They cut off my social services. So I was like, Lord, Lord what am I going to do? What am I going to do? How many of y'all know that it takes a while for you to get social security? disability. It takes a long while. They got to go through your medical records. They have to make sure that the, the doctors are supporting anything that you're saying. They got to go through x-rays. They got to go through this and that. That's when 
I was diagnosed with, girl, yes, ma'am, it's a battle. It is a battle. So you know, 80 plus percent of the people who apply for social security are denied. If you, first of all, first of all, I was only 40 something. And basically what they told me is you're too young. You're, you're, you're too young. There's just no way that we're going to have you on social security when you're able to work. I hired a lawyer. Okay. Well, when they do that, 40 was the first time to, they don't want you to have anything, girl. Stop telling my story, laugh out loud. I know, right? See, this is why, this is why I like this. This is why I like life because far as I know, somebody out there could be going through the same thing. Okay. But look, let me tell y'all what happened. So, so they stopped me on social services. I applied for Social Security, denied me. I was like, Lord, what am I going to do? I ain't got no money. These people already didn't stop me. Guess what he did? I hired a lawyer, and the lawyer looked at me, and he said, let me ask you a couple of questions. I said, sure. He said, your mother, is your mother and father living? I said, um, my father is living, but my father is ill. What, what about his work history? I said, my father has worked all his life. Well, let me ask you about your mother. I said, oh, my mother My mother just retired 15 years ago as a probation officer for Solano County for a juvenile probation officer for such a... He said, that's great. It shows that you come from a working, you know, a working background like that. And I was like, I didn't understand at the time why that would make sense. But basically what he was telling me was that the judge would look at all of these things. So a couple of weeks pass, he said, I'll be getting in touch with you to let you know if they are going to take, I'm going to take your case. He said, because you're going to win it. And I went, oh, okay, Mr. Whitaker. Um, his assistant was working with me. She asked me to send the paperwork. I sent the paperwork. Y'all, I sent the paperwork. I got my court date. Um, I think it was a month later. I went there. It just so happened. Look at God, you guys. Wait till y'all hear this. It just so happened that the woman who was the judge to preside over my case was a 35-year-old Asian woman, pregnant, suffering from morning sickness with her first baby. Girl, she didn't want to hear nothing that people was trying to say about me. So guess what? I get up there, and I think my case was probably the fourth case. I get up there. We went to lunch with the lawyer, him, my mother and him. He came and picked us up and everything. And so I get up there and I get on the stand. And she says, well, because I don't know if you guys know this or not. If they want you to go to court, you're going to stand on the stand. So basically what Social Security was like, they were like, well, if she can't do her job, so they thought that you were lazy. Exactly, Don. Exactly. Thought I was like. Girl, do you know what people have called me in my when I was working? I was called a Jamaican because I had two and three jobs. This was before my kids. When I had my kids and I stayed at home as a stay-at-home mom, I still sold Avon. I sold lingerie. I did parties. I sold um, cakes and pies. I mean, I've always been a worker. Even now, I have a I have I sell jewelry right now. Disabled. I sell jewelry. I, I make cakes, I do YouTube, I go to school. I'm not lazy, never have been a day in my life. So long story short, they, you, you're exactly right. Girl, me too, my husband told me to quit. Now you know you doing too much, lady, before of them. Girl, bye, I had two. Uh-uh, I would've looked at somebody like they're crazy, four jobs. But, but kudos to you for being able to do that. That's, that's too much. You was beating yourself up. Kept, yeah, because you have to be able to take care of your family, right? If ain't nobody else going to do If you don't do it, who else is? So basically what I did is I said, you know what? I've got to take care of my children. And at that time, I was going through a battle. I mean, you know, like I said, at, at that time, I was divorced now. I was divorced and I was single with three children because my daughter still stayed with me. 
And so my daughter worked at a job that she got when she was 16. Baby girl, because I call her baby girl. She is, my baby is 30. My daughter still works at the same job that she worked at that she got when she was 16. She was a clerk. Then she went to working in the makeup department, cosmetics. Now she's a pharmacy tech and she's been there over almost 16 or 17 years. So, so that goes to show, I mean, you know, work is what we do, you know, but so I'm in the court, uh, in the court and the lady is like, you guys forgive me. I'm, I've got to take a break. I guess she was probably getting sick, bless her heart. And I was like, here I was sitting there. I was like, Oh Lord, I said, you gave me the right lady. Thank you, Jesus, you gave me the right lady. So basically what Social Security was saying, well, if she can't do the job where she can sit down, look what they thought that they thought I was gonna do. They talked talking about I could be a waiter and stand up all day. When they read the story, when they read what my doctor put on, yeah, how you go? When they read to the lawyer, I mean, I'm sorry, to the judge, what my doctor, her name was Mar her name is Marsha Alexander, because she's still living, but she's not my doctor, excellent doctor. That doctor said, I would recommend if you guys want her to work, letting her work. But guess what? She only can work 15 to 20 hours a week. Get this, that's part time. But every 15 minutes, every 15 minutes, you're going to have to let her up to walk around and stretch her limbs because she has arthritis and she also has fibromyalgia and severe inflammation. And if she sits there too long, it's going to make her uncomfortable. That lady came out, she, she listened, she says, so I see on here too that you had social services. I'm serious, girl. She said I needed to be able to get up every 15 minutes. So right now I am permanently disabled. However, if I wanted to go to a, um, what is it called? The um, back to work program on social security? Who, who gonna hire me and let me work four hours for them? They schedule me for four hours. But out of the four hours, 15, 15, 15, 15, they only gonna get what, two hours out of me? You're doing that now, Lady B? That's crazy. So every time I go up for my, um, you know how some, well, I don't have to go up now, but in the past, I've had to go up for reevaluation. I've had to go up. Every time I go up for reevaluation, they have me fill out my forms. And when I fill out my forms, I get back a letter saying, yes, girl, they had had me going up for reevaluation every couple of years. But every time I go up, I get the same letter that comes back. We have found that you are disabled and unable to work. Now, Don said you have to be unemployed and not be able to do anything at all. So listen to this part. So when welfare cut me off, prior to me going to welfare, I had filled out unemployment papers, okay? So they gave me unemployment. So the judge says to me, well, you know, when you fill out the forms with unemployment, you're actually saying that you're able to work. She said, how could you say that you were able to work if you weren't able to work? Look what I told her. Ma'am, dire need. She said, I've already made my decision. She said, after hearing everything that this young lady has had to say, my mama had to get up there and tell about my lawyer got up there. After hearing everything that this young lady has to say, though she is a beautiful lady and we don't see her pain, I believe based on her medical records that she is disabled. Y'all, I've been disabled since 2019. So 
for if, any, if there's anybody out there that's going through it, trust the process, but above the process, trust the Lord because he will, he will do it, baby. He will do it. I get, I get my check. I, I get my check every, before the first of the month. Help me pay my bills and everything. Granted, before I got married, um, I was, you know, at, in my teenage years and early before all everything, um, before all of that, um, I was, you know, I worked. So I paid into my social security and stuff, but that's why I'm always at home because God has blessed me to be able to, and it don't do it look like to y'all with this hand arm and this right hand. Look, look, look at me trying to show y'all my double chin. I'm eating, I'm eating and I eat good. I eat good and my bills are paid. So for anybody that's out there thinking that, you know, that's why, you know, at first when I was, when I got on my YouTube, people were, you know, getting on, well, you just want a check. Oh, wait a minute, boo-boo. I get the check, okay? Now, if YouTube want to give me another one based on what I upload, I'm sure it did. And that's what I tell my husband all the time, um, Lady B. I always say, that, you know, as Christians, I don't believe, I know we're not supposed to walk in fear. We know that. But the reality is, I know my body. And I don't know if you guys, right, you got your car. Yes, I did, honey. I got them. And I, y'all, I was, you know, at first, when I first got it, I was getting paid really, really good. And the reason I was getting paid really, really good is because I had a child that was under 18. So they gave him a check and then they gave me one. And then when he got out of school, they took my money because, um, you know, he, he could go to work. Um, I remember when we were looking for a place to stay, this man was like, you're not making that much on social security. I went, yes, I am. Yes, I am. And I get, I got, I had people saying, oh, you're too young to be on social security. No, I'm not 65, but there are some people who have disabilities. And the thing about it is this, I may not look like it, but I have a, what they call a silent condition. I have a silent disease. Um, and I don't know if you guys know about that. That's Rheumatoid arthritis, that's MS, that's um, fibromyalgia, that's um, chronic arthritis. I mean, you guys know what? Here I was wearing um, five and six inch heels, going to work every single day on the base. And I had arthritis in a coccyx. Y'all know what the coccyx is. The coccyx ain't nothing but your butt bone. Here I am walking in them shoes, okay? With arthritis. Um, but God even kept me then. I don't know what was wrong with me wearing high heel shoes like that. Toes can't take nothing now. Toes will get like this quick. Arthur will get up in them toes. I tell my husband, I don't let nobody else be, no other man in this bed with me, but you and Arthur got to share. Because Arthur say he ain't going nowhere. He is here to stay. And you know what, you guys? I use this word and I only use it very lightly. They got me on a plethora of medications plethora. But you know what? I take them because if I don't take them, I will be messed up. Working in pain. And Don, you do hair too. I don't know how you do that. Girl, I be telling my husband all the time, I would love to, I really would. I would really love to go, you know, because sometimes I get bored being at home. Me too. My back, my, my lungs. Oh, I can't wear heels. And then man, no, the meds are no joke. They're no joke. And let me tell you, I was telling somebody, I don't know who it was, so I'm always talking. But I was telling somebody, oh, a friend of mine's in, in uh, Fairfield. Um, I was talking to her. And they have me on what they call the Holy Trinity. Now, why you want to call some drugs the Holy Trinity? So they have me on a pain med. They have me on a muscle relaxer. And they have me on something for my nerves. And not the nerves like the... Um, grandmother say you getting on my nerves or how we so our kids i'm talking about the the nervous system within my body because something happened 
when I had my hysterectomy and it affected my nerves. I have never, ever since I had the hysterectomy, I have never been the same, never been the same. And I had to have the hysterectomy because the uterus was just coming right on through. I will be vlogging about my health because I don't see too many people. No, they don't. They don't talk about it, uh, Lady B. I don't know how to do anything else I had. Oh, Don. Yeah. You got to be careful, too, with it. That's just like now, uh, Lady B with the hysterect. I think it was Lady B with the hysterectomies. They don't do them as much as they used to. But um, I believe a lot goes on when we are under. Good night, Sheila. Have a blessed evening, and thank you for coming in. Trina and honey, I know your pain. Tr Trina, my cup girl, I know your pain. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis, it's no joke. I'm going to be honest with you. They want to test me for that, and I will not let them because it's it runs in my family. I have a sister that is a couple of years younger than me, and she and I mirror the same. We talk about, I have the same pain as her. But I don't, I don't need another diagnosis. I, I, I don't. I don't need, I have enough breathing problems with my lungs. I have enough problems with um, my muscles. I have enough problems with um, arthritis and upper respiratory. My husband cooks because I can't say. Lady B, I'm going to tell you this. You have a wonderful husband. I don't even know him. But I'm going to tell you something. If, if, if I told a lot of the women everything that my husband does for me that would say you lying god bless me with a man who 100 percent takes care of me now don't get me wrong he ain't putting on putting on my shoes and socks but he's done my shoes my socks and shoes for me before he sure has girl when it rains it's either the walk or i can oh my gosh lady b and see okay now you say the cane, okay? Let me tell you about this. So last June, I went to go take a child to work, came home, knew my husband had to go to work that evening. Their favorite food for me is spaghetti because it's quick. Excuse me, y'all. So I got the spaghetti, went to go in the store to get bell peppers on. You know, I get stuff for spaghetti. Mind you, I look a whole, total, and complete mess. I shouldn't have been in that store. Guess what I did? Had on a muumuu and had on my Crocs because I don't know whether you know whether you do it, Lady B, but I wear Crocs a lot. I wear Crocs because they're comfortable because my feet feel like needles are sticking in them. So if I, when I go to church on Sunday or if we go on a date, me and hubby, and I wear my, wear my, um, my uh, heels, my toes be like this. My husband, pop, he pull them and they go, pew, pew, pew. girl be popping like popcorn. I need to stop and just don't wear them. But you know, sometimes that being vain stuff takes a while to wear off of you, even in pain. So, um, okay, y'all know I done forgot again. I'm telling y'all, I'm getting old. I don't care what nobody say. I'm getting old because I forget everything I'm talking about. But, um, oh, the cane. So I'm in the store. And getting the stuff, Crocs, girl, I bet, Don. Yeah, honey, I love my Crocs. I bought my little grandbaby some pink ones, and her mama ain't even let her wear them. Um, you know what, Trina? Oh, migraines. Girl, I had one um, for the first time last month. Uh, that's not fair. For people to even have my son deals with clusters but i might get a sinus headache but not a migraine <sighs> plantar fasciitis i had that oh you had to have an operation on your food yeah plantar fasciitis um that's when the heel the back of that heel hurts so what ended up happening um y'all with with the um with the store is i go in there Special shoes. Wow. See, I feel like they're going to have to do that to me one day, but I don't want to speak it into existence, but I know how my feet feel. You know what I mean? So um, I ended up going in there, getting the stuff. Why I go to get some bell peppers? And when I turned around, pretzel. 
I'm on the floor. And my feet are in a pretzel. And I'm looking like this is what I'm doing, y'all. Here I am. It's 8.30 in the morning. So it's not that many people in there. And I had just walked past a worker. And they know me because it's a small store. I don't know. I think you guys are probably familiar with Aldi's. This particular store is like an Aldi's, but it's called Grocery Outlet in California. They're, they're um, usually privately owned. And so I had just said hi to the girl. And as I said hi to her, I went to look at that bell pepper and went poop. And I went like this. I'm on the floor with my legs pretzeled and I look like this. I went, am I on this floor? Oh, and then I went like this to see if anybody seen me. I went, oh Jesus, how am I get up off this floor? So I just went just like this. And I seen that girl, I said, excuse me, can you come help me? I just fell on your floor. So she says to me, she says, um, let me go call Jim, the owner, she ain't have to call him. Guess what he did? Came flying out the back. So he seen me on camera, obviously fall. So I had to walk on a cane for about four months for that because what ended up happening is my knee swell up about half the size of my head. And when they did the x-rays and stuff, they said it was just water on it from the injury and a whole bunch of bruising and bruising and contusion i messed up my back and guess what my crazy stuff did got my butt up right up and walked up out of there oh but i gave him my information so i hired me a lawyer and um but you know like I told my husband, my husband said, well, the next time that happened, I said, it ain't going to happen the next time. He said, but if that does happen again, you lay right there and have the ambulance come and get you. He said, don't get up and walk away because when I walked away, I could feel the pain in my back and in my knee, but I knew I had to get home so that he could go to work. But I was in therapy for a while, even before you get out of bed. Girl, yes, Don, that's me. These feet, sometimes this is what my feet be doing this. And then I could go like this to my thumb and I go, y'all don't look at these nails. They look busted. I didn't pull them off. I didn't pull my polish off. Um, these feet, and I wonder, does everybody feet hurt like that? Because if your feet hurt like that, how you got on them old high heels walking around, trucking around? Like Everybody's feet must not hurt like that. It may just be some of us that are just experiencing that pain. And then sometimes I say to myself, well, maybe my feet are hurting because for so many years I wore heels. Maybe they're hurting because I'm old. So then I, I go like this. I, I get you thinking that. And then I go, but um, I haven't worn heels in a while. If this thing from Sprint keep coming up on my phone, I haven't worn them in a while. So what I did too so many people before I really got diagnosed with fibromyalgia were saying, I kept reading about it and they were saying, oh, it's in your head. Baby, I'm here to tell you right now, fibromyalgia don't have nothing to do with my head. It is totally and 100% completely in my body. And now they finally recognize it as a chronic condition. Um, it used to be people said, you're not hurting that bad. My feet don't bother me too much, but my legs and knees will give out. Oh, I'm going to have to pray for you. I don't like that. That's terrible. I've got a, a friend who um, was cooking for her husband, and she in the kitchen just getting down, and the next thing you know, she was on the ground. Her leg just went out, and now she's in a boot. She messed. She got to have surgery and everything. So just be careful. Thank God you have a, a, a good husband. Oh, I'm doing an allergy test. in a sleep. You know, they wanted me to do the allergy um, test and the sleep study. But well, girl, I can't sleep nowhere else. Uh -uh, I probably won't even go to sleep. But they were saying to me they wanted me to do that. My husband said, I got issues though, because honey, let me, I have restless leg. You know, where your legs just be kicking and moving. And then if I, all I, I, I could be sleeping and I go, you know, okay, did I just snore? Wake up. He said, you're the only person I know that will wake up out of their sleep and ask, do they just snore? He said, yes, you did, baby, but just go back to sleep. 
I never forget the time of that one. Mm, mm, mm. Now, my, um, I did have um, one time where I um, had, I guess, sciatica. And it was giving me some problems. But the crazy thing about it, um, Lady B in chat, is that when I was about, was it 15? I think I was about 13 or 14. I've always been, I don't like to say big girl, because I just don't like to say big. I've always been a hippie girl. I've always had hips and thighs and Time parts. I've always, my mama from the South, okay? So I've always been a thick girl. And then I, I, in high school, I got it like this. I got Miss Piggy. I got um, thickums. I got fat. You know, I got all that. But guess what? Here it is years later in 2020. I'm going to tell you what it is. It is fat, P H A T, and foin, because my husband loved every bit of it. I am so over trying to please people. I'm very content in the place that I'm in. Love me some Carol. Love me some Carol. My, my mother in love always says, you just, you, I love your confidence. And I haven't always had it, but me and this wonderful relationship with God, it, because he loves me, I love me. And I know my worth as a result of him just pouring into me. But, um, Sit down, girl. I look. I see it when I wash all this off and when I take all this off and love every bit of it. And when I tell you guys, I mean, I don't know that everybody has a significant other, whatever, whatever it may be, you know, because I can't choose nobody for nobody else. I didn't already choose mine. I did my job or God already did, did my job for me. Um, but. It's a blessing to be married to somebody who completely and utterly, and you know it, adores you. And that's, that's where I am. My, I, have, I have a husband that was sent to me from God. I don't care what, can't nobody else tell me different. Can't nobody. And I know I get on his Applejack nerves because I get on my own nerves sometimes, but He's, he's very helpful. He's very loving. He's very understanding. Um, I don't know if there's anything that he wouldn't do for me. I mean, he is, he is my, that is, you know, what is it? Um, what is it your, um, you know, some people say my soulmate and my, yes, definitely. And I, I'll, I'll be looking at him. I'll be like, like today, <laughs> we so crazy. Uh, I looked at him because we went out Saturday. And um, it was time for him to get some clothes. And so, no, Friday. And it was time for him to get some new things, you know. Because, see, what he has done is always allows, allowed me to get stuff. <clears throat> and I don't need nothing else. <coughs> Excuse me. Nothing. Y'all hear me? I don't know if y'all seen in that video and I showed my, my dresser. That don't make no sense. This lady told me last year, she said, can I go shopping on your dresser? I tell you, everybody in this chat, because it looks like it's 12 people based on this number, all y'all can leave up out of here with at least about five or six things, each one of y'all, because my dresser is out of control. As a matter of fact, my ladies at one, oh yes, I put some extra stuff in there because I don't need this. My husband said to me, oh, it looked like to me, you mailed off some packages. I said, yes. He said, you're going to get rid of some of that? Y'all, I got too much stuff. God is so good. This somebody who had lost everything but you know how he said we would recover it all? You remember how Paul said that? Don't worry. If you lost something, a job, a husband, a piece of your mind, whatever, a relationship that has been severed, trust me, God can allow you to recover it all. Because when I went through my divorce, we had said, my ex-husband had said we were going to be married forever. I remember around Christmas time, this older man who was a mailman came to, um, he came to the door and delivered something. Yes, ma'am. Jesus is good. Um, and he, um, he came and delivered something. He was like, oh, you guys are a lovely couple. And um, we were like, oh, thank you. And we plan on being married forever. You know, maybe one day I will find another husband. 
done, you will stop it. So, and, and, and don't be looking at age because age don't matter, honey. I seen a lady on the internet that is in her 90s and just got married, boo. So, honey, there is hope. Didn't I tell y'all? I told y'all she's going to come on here. Hi, pretty girl. How are you, Nene? Charnay? My baby has entered the building. But, Nay, I'm just talking to them about my life. Just talking to them about my life and how good God has been to me and to us. And so, um, yeah. So, you guys, uh, no matter what it is, not with this six-year-old... So, Don, you you have a six-year-old? You have a six-year-old child? She says she got a six-year-old. I know that's right. Um, yes, he can, too, with that six-year-old. She just got off work. Oh, bless your heart. But, yeah, nay, nay, these people on here love my blabbering mouth. Ask me how long I've been on this live, Nay. Nay, I've been on this live. <laughs> 106 minutes, Nay Nay. They love my raggedy tail and I love them too. They're so awesome. But um, just know you guys, for real, for real, for real, all kidding aside, no matter what it is. Oh, Trina. Yes, I have full custody. Oh, of your grandbaby. Oh, Dawn, that touches my heart. And guess what? God can send someone to you. Yes, even with that six-year-old beautiful baby. He definitely can because a lot of times we think, you know, we can say, oh, you know, I look good or, you know, I'm taking better care. Let's see how long you've been on this one. Oh. She got to always come on here and embarrass me. You got to get off of here, Trina, and go soak your hand. Yeah, you go soak that hand. Oh, y'all so sweet. Oh, y'all so sweet. Go soak that hand, Trina. I'm glad y'all love my lives. I said that I was going to be doing more. Um, um, I was going to be more be doing more lives because I don't know. It just... It seems like you guys are like right here, you know, like I'm at because we got this big dining room table and it just seems like I got all my girls sitting at the dining room table and we're just talking and I can definitely talk. I could talk every ounce. I told everybody is suspect. <laughs> Dawn is so funny. She said, and you know what? In this world today, they do need to be suspect, but you do need to act like everybody is suspect. However, Dawn. Sooner rather than later, you got to put your guard down some way so that they could eat, you know, at least try to get to the surface or at least try to get to know you. Hi, Khalil, my baby. Hi, baby. Grandmommy, love you. Yeah. So I know. I know. I, I told y'all I used to club Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday if it was a holiday. And so I've had... A whole bunch. I, I've dated a whole bunch of bucket heads, a whole bunch. But um, I thank God for uh, the man that I have now and what, you know, God has um, given given me um, in him. And and um, I really do. I, I, I cherish him. This man has we've been through a lot, but but came out, you know, came out shining and um I got a testimony. I do. I have a testimony and I'm glad that he's a part of it and really glad that that um, that God even allowed me to, you know, sometimes you can look at your life and look at the things that you had to experience. Oh, she's your shadow right now. But you know what? She got a good teacher. She that's the best shadow. That's so cute. I told you, honey, I love babies. I love that six-year-old around me. I'm telling you, I was, nay, I was just telling them that, you know, I talked to you a couple of times during the week, and I was kind of fiending because I haven't talked to my babies, you know? I haven't, I haven't seen my sugar plums. I haven't seen them. And I was telling them how I like, when I first got on, I was telling them how I like the babies, you know, with the little Michelin man, the tire Michelin man arms and thighs. Them big old chunky thighs and stuff. I love all that. I really do. I love y'all. You know, 
I was kind of, um, when my, my sister had her, my older sister had her grandbabies a lot younger than me. I had my, I got my first grandbaby at 50. And, um, so, and I'm grateful for that because I'm ready. You know, I was ready. My sister got hers a little sooner than me. And girl, when them kids used to be running around, I used to be like, if they don't go sit down somewhere. But my mama and my sister told me, they said, when you get your first grandbaby, you go know what it's all about. Y'all, when I got that first grandbaby, woo, it, there is no love like, I mean, you have a love for the parents, you have love for your children, but them grandbabies is a different kind of love. Oh, that's a different kind of love. And, and you know what? My grandchildren, especially my Khalil, Baby girl, ain't nothing I can't do wrong. I can't do nothing wrong. All I hear when me and my daughter is on FaceTime, hi, grandmommy. Hi, grandmommy. His mama tried to, no, not grandmommy, grandma. He gonna tell his mama a couple of weeks ago, I call her grandmommy, grandma. You know how they, they do those videos? G is for grandma. We call her grandma. He teaching his mama what he called me. That's my baby. That is my baby. Can you put my mail? Oop. She reading mail. <laughs> you know what you should do, Don? Since she want to read your mail, you should say, you know what, boo? This right here, this is an electricity bill. It has to be paid because if it don't be paid, we going to be in the dark. You know, tell her to close her eyes and then tell her. So guess what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some allowance and give her a little allowance. And when it comes time for the electricity bill, tell her, you got $3 on this or however much did you give her? You got $3 on this? Girl, she'll leave that mail alone. <laughs> she'll be like, oh, no, I don't want that mail. I don't want that mail at all. No, but that's cute. I'm, I'm glad that you, um, that you, um, that you have, you know, the, the one thing I love is to see grandparents stepping in and raising their grandchildren if need be for whatever reason because to be it ain't nobody's reason it's no one's business in my opinion as to what reason why you know it, you're in that place but thank god that you are because our babies do not need to be in nobody's system. We got too many of them in the system as it is. So I commend you. And I want to just personally tell you, thank you for taking care of that beautiful little grandbaby. Because guess what? She going to love her grandmommy for the rest of her life. She is. She, she, they will appreciate it. It's, 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 you know, it's, you know, usually when we get in our fifties and sixties and stuff, we, you know, we, we tend to think, okay, yeah, whoosh. I didn't done it all. I'm just, you know, I'm living my life, but it's a blessing in that as well. So just hang on in there and keep on loving on that beautiful baby because I know she's beautiful, six years old. And six years old, they know everything. Girl, they be trying to teach you. Ooh. Oh, she give you the shot, so she a sweetie. Oh, yes. Love it, love it, love it. My grandbaby is... um. Little mama, she only she only a little over a year, but she's a sweet, sweet little shy thing. Her birthday is July the 29th. My birthday is July the 22nd. And y'all, let me tell y'all something. I ain't gonna lie. I pray, pray, pray that that grandbaby would have the same birthday as me. I wanted to share that birthday with her so bad, but God said not so. He let her come a week after me. But whenever I look at her, on me and my daughter's um, calls, she has she's she can be a little shy, and she's a little chocolate drop. She look like her daddy, but I see her grandmommy in her too. I see her grandmommy in her in in her. She look like her grandmommy, and so do my grandson. Them is my babies. You had them, but they belongs to me. Okay, Nene, them my poo bugs. All right, y'all. I didn't chat it enough. I didn't chat it, chat it, chat it. If you guys want me to do anything in particular, even on the lives, make sure I'm learning to. Oh, she learned. I, wait a minute. I am learning to type. 
Oh, you learning to tie your shoe. Okay. Go ahead, Don. Let her teach you. She, you probably was tying it the wrong way anyway. Let that baby teach you how to tie that shoe. Um, you guys, if you guys have any suggestions, I am not, um, um, oh, Shanique's dream just uh, uploaded a video of her reaction to Liv's life wedding. I don't know if I'm going to do a reaction to that, you guys, because I didn't see it, but, um, I really wanted them to get married and, um, I kind of look at it as if Liv and Gerard have elevated to the place that I wanted them to be. I'm very, very, very happy for them. I'm extremely happy for the webs. I tell y'all, one thing I have always said is that I love the webs. Matter of fact, that's when I first started watching them, when I was living with the webs. I told, when her name wasn't even a web, I told my daughter, I said, this is a nice channel. They got beautiful babies, and now they done got married. They okay with me. I love love, especially black love. Love it. Love it. So I just wish them the best. But if you guys have anything, what I think I'm going to do since we were talking about some... um illnesses and stuff. I do have a video from last year. Yeah, 2019. Trina, um, Trina um, Reynolds actually asked me to do a video on rheumatoid arthritis. And I may upload that, but I think I'm going to just, just start doing some, um, some things. Um, you know, I don't know a whole bunch, but I can tell what I've experienced in things. And, um, so we're going we're gonna to be doing a lot of different things. But I was telling you guys about the community tab. In the community tab, if you have any, look, not only in a community tab, if you have any suggestions of anything that you want me to check out, if you want me to sneak check something out, because y'all, excuse me, I got this one lady. I am not lying to y'all. Y'all, she will, <laughs> she will send me a, send me an email into my email address um, telling me about something that happened and she wants me to do a reaction. If you see something like that, you can do that. I can't promise because it depends because I don't, I'm kind of limited on what I get into. If they talking about baby mama or he slept with who, I don't, that right there I don't mess with because I don't, I, that's too messy. I, I, I don't fool with that. But if it's something that you want my opinion on, you know, where we can get into um, conversation, even into a live on, we definitely can do that. My daughter and I have said that we were going to start doing lives. Um, I'm going to check with her and see if um, we're going to say, and if we're, if we're still going to keep up with that. I know my daughter is very busy. She has two young children and she's also working on some things in the background for herself. So I'm going to see, but Make sure you go into the community tab and let me know stuff that you want me to speak on. If you don't want to put it in the community tab, go ahead and send me an email. Carol's Daily Sauce, all lowercase at gmail.com. I'm here for y'all. Um, I have enjoyed this live. I have enjoyed it. I have enjoyed it. I thank you all for watching. I thank you for my day ones. I thank you for my baby girl, Miss Charnay. Um, and just thank you guys so much for your support. You, it, Without you, there would truly be no me um, on this YouTube. So thank you so much for having an interest in my daily sauce, even though it ain't even daily no more. It's about Carol's every other day sauce. Yeah. That's pretty much what I've been doing is Carol's every other day sauce. But then sometimes I go on a roll where I pump them out every day. So I'm not going to change it. I was going to change it, but I think I'm going to still leave it the same uh, for right now. But you guys just, you know, hit me up in the email and let me know if there's some things that you want me to do. We are, hubby and I are still going to come out with the questions and answers. I still have all the answers. A lot of people sent me some really good answers um, because he's a male and men have their attitudes and things that they go through or grow through, however you want to phrase it. I have to wait until he's really able to do that. Um, last week he did, but I wasn't feeling good. So, um, and he's now having some, when I say this, y'all don't be alarmed, chest pains, not 
heart attack, chest pains, but chest pains from coughing so hard. I mean, literally he can touch his chest and it's sore. So um, we're probably gonna have to get my baby to the doctor because I don't want nothing to be wrong with him. I think it's just from coughing because he coughs so hard early in the morning. But y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and go because this throat is scratching and it's sore. And um, I just thank y'all. Thank y'all for sitting here and listening to me blabble for this long. I couldn't do it without you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go ahead and share it out, Gr girls and boys. You have a blessed one too, Trina. We have talked about everything. We talked about when I stopped working. We talked about Social Security. We talked about church. We talked about, oh my goodness, Vivacious. That wasn't you that said you was leaving. Huh? That was Nikki. I thought you were gone, Vivacious. Bye, darling. I'm so glad to see you in here. Um, so glad to see all of you guys in here. Y'all be blessed, be encouraged. And today is Sunday. I will probably do another live on Tuesday. I don't want to burn y'all out because, honey, let me tell you, these your lips, I could keep going on and on and on and on and on. But I'm going to let y'all's little ears rest a little bit. I love y'all so much. I love you guys so much. You guys just don't know. Like I said, Without you, there would be absolutely no me. Shanique, you know I'm finna go on here, girl, and I'm finna look at that video that you done just uploaded. All right, you guys, I love y'all. Talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.